Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I've got a treat for you. I found a piece of treasure in the trash. This guy right here. This is an isolation transformer. And you can see that I have it wired into a power strip and a plug end. And this is going to be on my workbench. And you might be thinking, what am I going to do with an isolation transformer on my workbench? Well, the primary reason for one of these transformers is the isolation of mains. So let's say that you're working on a piece of equipment over here and it's got physical damage or maybe even some water damage. And we don't know about it, some fluid intrusion. So when you start opening it up and pulling it apart, you could get shocked. So that's the primary reason for using an isolation transformer. The second reason is this guy right back here. A lot of you might not be aware of it, but one of these oscilloscopes, that outer part of your probe right here, is actually connected directly to earth ground. So that means if you connect this in the wrong spot, it will short straight to ground and it will catch on fire. It's kind of a rookie mistake and a lot of people are aware of it, but this guy will float your ground. So you can pretty much connect that guy almost anywhere and you won't be seeing an exploded meter. The third reason for using one of these is to float ground when you're trying to trace excessive leakage. So what you do is if your piece of equipment fails an electrical safety test, you'd plug it into this guy here which has got floated grounds. It is not connected in any way to this ground right here. So what you do is plug your equipment that's got excessive leakage in here. It's the same thing you could do with an electrical safety analyzer by opening the ground. But you plug your device in here. Not only are you isolated from mains, but your ground is isolated as well. So if your equipment has excessive leakage, you can use a probe with uh, milliamps, hopefully milliamps. In other words, you got a direct short to ground if it's in amps. So what you would do is you would connect one probe to your device connect one probe to ground and then you could play around with the device and see what affects the leakage so that's just a quick video for you guys this is an isolation transformer uh, you find them in the bottom of audio and video cabinets and other type of equipment cabinets and you can see here that I wired it into a power strip and a cord just make sure that you pull up the data sheet you can see this is the device right here. This is the data sheet. And the important parts of the data sheet are down here. You can see that with a secondary current at 120 volts, it's rated at 8.33 amps. That's really good. So I have my primaries. There's two primaries on this guy. I have them wired in parallel. And actually you can see it down here. They tell you to wire it in parallel. Um, so black and orange are wired together and then I have red and blue wired together on the primaries. In the secondary I have green and brown and then red and blue. And those are connected to this guy. So when you find a transformer, make sure it's not a step or step up, step, excuse me, a step up or step down transformer. Go ahead and check and make sure that is an isolation toroidal transformer. And then you can wire one in. Don't throw them out. Utilize them. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Stay tuned. i got extra other videos that are going to be coming out soon.